All right, folks, so we have our Gigabyte motherboard um, that upon the last boot up, it uh, went to a black uh, screen. Um, and uh, I had been in there messing with the motherboard, so I know that I screwed something up in there. I can not tell you what it was, but uh, there are definitely some settings in there that can screw up your motherboard. So I'm pretty sure that uh, resetting the uh the motherboard is going to eliminate that problem so um first steps you would do is obviously take off the side panel that will allow you access uh it's usually the uh if you're looking at the computer it's going to be the left uh left side of it and uh so we want to make sure that we're not plugged in so i'm going to uh unplug this of course i don't i just did a little test on this cheap uh pvia uh power supply so I actually don't have it even bolted in there but um, it's not not actually going to stay in this computer so uh, we um, are good to go here now so next thing we need is a uh, flathead screwdriver and uh, you know hopefully uh, you're grounded and you're not going to uh, touch anything in here but uh, simple enough and usually I do this with two hands. Um, you're going to pop that out, okay? So, um, just to make sure it's not still connecting with anything, we'll pull it completely out of there. And uh, there you go. So, I usually wait about 30 seconds. Um, I, I think there's some recommended time, uh, but 30 seconds usually works. So, we will wait... And hopefully I will uh, remember to fast forward this in the video. Maybe not fast forward, but edit it out. And that's been good. Okay, it's probably uh, maybe that that was about thirty seconds. All right, so it's in. Now we can plug this back in and. do that can't unfortunately it's hard to do with one hand all right and I'm going to power it up and then we're gonna run around to the other side to see if it actually worked all right folks so there you have it um, after popping the uh, CMOS battery out and leaving it out for uh, I left it out for at least 30 seconds um, the BIOS has been reset so this corrected a mistake that I had and uh, something that you you know I knew I had screwed something up so I went straight from that to um, not working but uh, you know some of you may not realize that you have made that mistake so um, before you toss your motherboard you might want to make sure that you try resetting um, BIOS uh, to see if that solves your problem. So here we're just going to click OK and everything's in here like it was. I actually pulled the hard drive out. That's another thing um, I would recommend just to make sure you get into the BIOS. So I can put my hard drive back in and we should be good to go. Um, Funny is I have so many computers here I forgot what CPU is in here, and uh, so this uh, this is good. Now we can get this going and figure it out. But uh, this is one of the ones I did a BIOS update on, um, so it has the most current BIOS. It can handle ninth gen, and I'm pretty sure there is a ninth gen chip in here. So, uh, but that's all uh, for this video. Please like, please subscribe, thank you. Alright folks, so we're on the other side and just to show you this worked, um, I ended up doing a running a benchmark so you can see there's our Gigabyte H310M Space A motherboard and uh, it did reset it and get it back to um, being able to boot up. So. If your screen goes black after you uh, 
change some setting in BIOS, uh, it's probably a good idea uh, to follow steps shown in this video. Thanks for checking it out. Hope it helped. Please like, please subscribe.